Welcome back to the 1010 podcast. Um, coming up next is our great uh, Grace Cross. She's from Plymouth at the moment. Hi, Grace. How are you, dear? Hello. I'm very well. Thank you very, very much. How are you doing, self, Mark? Yeah, awesome. Thanks. So I'm just multitasking a wee bit. My brain needs that. So I'm great. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Um, yeah, who, who is Grace Cross? Tell us who you are. And then I've got a song I'd like to ask you about. Who is Grace Cross? What type of music do you do, etc.? Okay. I can't... Um, um, it's really hard to like nail down what I do. Um, I guess you can say rock. You can say anything that's got like um, I don't know a feeling to it. Words. I go by the words. You know, it, it, as as Laura was saying about that, the, there's always a story within the music that I either am part of or have been part of and and, and helped to write. Um, I'm originally from London, and I now live in a, a little village called um, or a little place called Plymouth. I'm um, not too far from you guys over there in uh, Cornwall, is it? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So stars. I've been here for years and I just met lots of music people here and, and got to make, you know, lots and lots of lovely music. Uh, um, originally being in London and, and you know, gigging in, in London and doing studio work, etc. you know, all the usual. Um, and then came here and I didn't think I was going to do music again. I was kind of like, no, I think, you know, I went into single homeless and I worked there and I worked in drug and alcohol and um it, it i was brought back to music so i guess it was meant to be i was meant to go back and sing um and do you want me to tell you a little bit about why we did the song well the song is called i was going to, the, the song is called ain't working yet by the cross uh, i'll be honest yeah. it's, the, it's the most listened to song out of all of the songs tonight so grace what's the really? story behind it I, I believe that is i'm sorry if i misunderstood but What's the story behind this song before we let everyone experience it? Okay, so back in the 80s in England, there was, there was like, it was basically, it was the, in the UK, there was lots of strikes going on. We had a woman called Margaret Thatcher that was in power. The, um, the, she shut down all the mines and people and stuff and all of that. And there was, there was AIDS came, AIDS came in the late 80s and people didn't quite know what to do with that and they were scared. Um, and this song comes from, people just losing their jobs and people just lose it. It's, a, it's, it's about loss. It really is about loss. And it was written back in the um, kind of like early eighties. Uh, we had lockdown and I had a friend that we formed a bubble with. I've had a friend for 17 years, Simon Honeywell. And uh, we decided to drag it into current day because it was so relevant to what was happening at the time, which was COVID lockdown, losing people, um, people losing their jobs. And it, we, we kind of listened to the lyrics and, and just went, this is so relevant to what's happening right now. So we got the, um, we recorded it and we got the video done in, in, I think we did it in about three hours before the next day was locked down. Um, but then we formed this little bubble and it was just, um, we, we, we just did this song. With, I'd, I'd never kind of used this type of music. It's been called this type of music or that type of music. It, it, it's just telling you a story. Yeah. And all of the people that are in the video are all of our friends or nurses that have worked with uh, my colleague who's in recovery from cancer, um, my partner's in there somewhere. Um, uh, lots of people that work for the NHS, the English NHS. We've got firefighters, we've got fellow musicians, we've got everybody in there. Um, even my dad with, with, with his little cat and, and, and dog. So um, yeah, it was, it was really like a, a tip in our hats also within that to the yeah. NHS and how they just, you know, hung on and just really helped us all, you know, get through this and and just being proud, really. A um, very beautiful reason to write a song. It's, it's, it's an amazing reason to write a song. And, you know, I think you've got well over 100,000 views on it. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like 111 going into 112,000. Yeah. Fine we were really what shocked. We yeah. we Let were everyone shocked. get acquainted with this beautiful track and then and then everyone can get their compliments in. So without further ado, Grace Cross with Ain't Working Yet by the Cross. One, two, three, let's go. Take a look out your window, tell me what you see Is the threat of world war really following me? Or is this just one more headache that'll help me forget? 
That the pound hasn't risen and it ain't working yet Take a look out your window, tell me what you see You say it's Christmas already, well then I must buy you a tree November's quite early, so one by one yet Tell me what was I saying, you know I think I forget Nobody's smiling The whole place is looking depressed You always were cruel Britannia Old England is doing her best But is it good enough? Amazing, amazing track, Grace. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, I'd like to just ask, what's next for you, Grace? Um, well, I just needed to add the picture at the end there is a picture of my brother and myself. And the songs that those were the songs that we wrote together. But unfortunately, my brother died in 1988. Oh. So my mission was to bring all the songs that we'd written together and bring them forward. So we're bringing them up to date. Um, so we're just currently working on a few more of the songs and you know I'm just doing a few little gigs here and there um so the next thing is we've already put a few of the tracks down so it's just about dragging it from the 80s into the now the noughties or whatever we are the two e's um so that's that's the next step and that's that's what we're doing nice one nice one I'm sorry to hear about your brother dear um Luna Tommy and uh, Kelly Bars Luna what's your thoughts here dear I absolutely loved that and it spoke to me so deeply um i lost so many people through the aids crisis i lost people through covid and you spoke to both of those things so 
perfectly. And it was just, it's an amazing thing when you look at people's eyes and you can't see their mouths. When people are wearing a mask, it says so much because smiles can come and go and they can be real or false, whatever it is, but eyes really can't quite lie. And I think what you captured in the video was even just a small portion of what you captured with your voice. Your voice is amazing. And I, I hope someday maybe I can work with you. It's just was really spoke to me. Well said, then that was beautiful. Oh, Grace, you're muted there. I don't know what's happened. Oh. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I would love to work with you. Love to work with you. Well, that's... Yeah. that's, that's Let's make there. something happen. <laughs> that's yeah, what the family sure. all about, making collaborations. It makes Kirsty and I smile every time we see people are friends after the show's awesome, awesome. Uh, Scott Carmen's in Ohio, then Chris and So would like to say something. Scotty, what's your thoughts, dude? Oh, uh, I, I loved it. I have not had something touch my soul with such grace in a very long time. You keep doing what you're doing and do not let nothing stand in your way. You got to stand in an ovation and an applause for me. Well Thank said, you. well said. Thank you. Chris and so and Tommy as well as unmuted yourself there. So Chris and so then Tommy. Yes, yeah, so um, yeah. there was really a strong message and everybody can mm. feel it, I think. Uh, you can feel the power going through your voice. It's really impressive, your voice. We really like the traditional instruments and it helps to really put the lyrics first. And so, good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well said, young lady. Tommy Krieger, Texas Swamp. What's your thoughts? Then we'll go on to our next guest, Julian Wagstaff. Um, so yep. what's your thoughts? The other artists uh, have pretty much uh, summed it up for me as well. Everything they said, and I'll just, uh, in summation, would say, the video showed the mask. They are gone. What's new is your music. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm sure you'll all be checking it again. Julian, what's your thoughts there, dude? I thought it was an absolutely wonderful song. You know, and it was terrific. You know, it's kind of um, channeling that great kind of English political folk tradition. Um, mm. And uh, I thought it was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. You told that. Thanks for being a wonderful guest, Grace. Uh, Julian, you're up next. So, Grace, until the next time, my dear, thank you very much. Thank you. Julian, Julian Wagstaff, my friend, how are you? I'm very well indeed, Sparky. Thanks for having me on. Oh, pleasure, dude. Pleasure. So, for anyone who doesn't know you, who's Julian Wagstaff and what, you know, who are you in the music scene, for instance? Yeah. So, I live in Edinburgh in, the, in Scotland and um, where I was born. And I suppose I'm mainly known for my work in the concert hall in the opera house. So I've mainly written classical music, opera, music theater. About five years ago, I started a band, um, a rock pop band, and we're called the Ferines. And um, I started writing songs um, for this band a while back. In 2017, I was in Aarhus in, in Denmark for, um, for the European City of Culture. And I went to an exhibition of political art and uh, there were some works by the German anti-fascist artist John Hartfield who I was a fan of but I'd kind of forgotten about and uh, for those of you that don't know his art I urge you to look up John Hartfield you probably know some of his stuff already he's basically the guy that invented photo montage and um, he had to flee the Nazis he settled in England he, he loved uh, England um, and uh, he moved back to Germany, actually to East Germany after the war. And um, so I thought, I've got to write a song. I've got to write a song about this guy because his life story had, had kind of moved me and touched me so much, as, as, as did his art. And while I was kind of trying to find out more about him, I came across this news story whereby um, some guys on a road trip in the United States had stopped for a break. and in the field next to the road, they had found a human heart. Wow. And so I came up with the title, Heart in a Field. And I yeah. thought you could put those two stories together, the stories of these travelers on the road who find a human heart in a field 
and the life of John Hartfield and make a, a montage, a musical montage about it. So use the technique of photo montage, but use it musically. Yeah, nice. And so that's what I did. So I came up with my song, my musical tribute to John Hartfield, this wonderful artist, this, this wonderful kind of fighter against fascism yeah. and put it in a song. And um, I hope you like it. Well done, Julian. Without further ado, is it the, the Furriners? Is that how it, you no, say it? No, there's, the band is pronounced the Ferines. The Ferines, the Ferines with heart in a field. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Get acquainted with Julian Wagstaff if you're not already. One, two, three. <laughs>
So they are absolutely brilliant. Absolutely awesome, Gillian. Uh, same scenario, if anyone's going to get a, a you know a compliment in. Um, what's next for you, Gillian? What's what's in the pipeline? What's your plans? Um, well, uh, the band's going back into the studio, uh, hopefully in a few months' time, to put a new couple new songs down and we'll uh, make a few new videos. Uh, and I'm working on a recording of some of my uh, orchestral music, um, hopefully with the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra next year. So that's nice what I'm up to. I look forward to that. And um, Luna's wanted to say something, and our next guest, Brad, as well. Luna, what's your thoughts here, dear? Wow, that was so... For something that meets music and visuals, that was really incredible because your, your visuals on that were just so evocative. And, and it's just such an amazing idea to find a heart in a field, but to have Heartfield be this name. Um, what an amazing, I, I don't believe in coincidences. So I think what an amazing um, conglomeration of events to create that, but so glad that you felt the urge to write about it. That it's just, I love songwriting and songwriting at its best is what makes you want to write a song. And that was absolutely wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Glad you I'll went. detail that, I'll detail that. Uh, Brad, James Swallow, what's your thoughts there, dude? And you're up next actually, Brad. Oh, great song, great songwriting. Lyrics are great, great story. Uh, to listen to you uh, guys, I need to up my game. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for your words. Looking forward to hearing your stuff, man. And nice the production song. of it is really good, too. <clears throat> well said, Brad, well said. Julian, thanks for being a wonderful guest. Until the next time, dude, we'll get you on here for every one of your songs. You're a, a valued VIP member. Love you to bits, brother. Julian thanks, Wagstaff. Um, Pleasure. Coming up next, Brad James Swallow. Um, Brad James Swallow, the full name. Could you tell us who you are, what type of music you do, etc. While I while I get your song loaded up here. Well, uh, I guess it's a combination. I grew up in South Louisiana. Uh, had a montage of like Cajun music, Zydeco music, swamp pop, rock, blues, country. I guess I'm kind of a gumbo of all that. I've been lucky to play with a couple of guys that were in the Blues Hall of Fame, Lil Buck, Senegal, Roscoe Chenier. Nice. Uh, they used to tour actually on, across the pond where y'all guys at. So at a young age, I was playing with those guys. And uh, about five years ago, I put out a disc called No More Blues and Lil Paul Buck, Senegal played on that, but he passed away before it was released. Oh, and uh, just been playing and gigging and writing. Uh, nice so one, I dude. just call it Swampadelic Blues Rock. <laughs> well, Texas Swamp up here, he's, he, he, he calls his music Swamp. It used to need to be best mates, that's it. And I've got a song, Loving You. Could you tell us the story behind Loving You, Brad, before I let everyone hear it? Well, I guess we've all been in relationships where you love someone, but you just can't get along with them, and they're just hard to love, and this is what this is about. Well, I'm pretty sure of it. 30% of the world probably knows what that means, <laughs> knows that feeling, you know. And uh, yeah, without further ado, Brad James Swallow with Loving You. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. Never an easy thing to do Loving you Was never an easy thing to do Well, I think I'm gonna have to go Yes, I'm gonna have to go Cause staying here 
It's giving me the blues Loving you is impossible Jim Swallow. And Dabby Dozy. So there's a few people want to speak to you here. Uh, Chris and So was first, then Tim. Then I know the text that he got, Texas Swamp. Chris and So, what's your thoughts there? Yes, yeah, so um, we really can feel the Texan ambience, and you did a really good job. You really feel like ZZ Top. And we wanted to ask you um, what are your influences with your music? Sorry, what, what? What are your influences? My influences? Yes. Yeah. Uh, some of the guys that I played with and grew up listening to in my area, we have a lot of musicians. You can't even go a block from where I live without running into musicians. So it's a lot, a lot of musicians out here. And I've always been influenced by the blues and rock and love the British uh, blues rock style too. So I just kind of mix it all together. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. <clears throat> oh, very, very good. Good job. Thank you. Oh, yes. Good so job. We've got Tim, Luna, Tommy, and then our next guest, Ray Star. Tim. Man, man, I just loved, loved, loved it. And I can hear what you were saying about a conglomeration of a little bit of everything. I heard the blues in that. I heard blues rock, especially in that guitar lick at the end, reminded me of something like. Uh, uh, Joe Bonamassa mm. or mm. Uh, even Kenny Wayne Shepherd would play uh, the rhythm guitar in that. I heard a little bit of seventies rock, man, and your blue and your voice is definitely says blues. I just loved all of it the way you put it together, sir. That's my kind of stuff. I loved it. Well, thank you, Kenny Wayne Shepherd. Actually, didn't grow up too far from me. <laughs> he he's pretty awesome. Yeah. Well said, Tim. Great answer. Used to another two mates in waiting. Luna, Tommy, then then Ruth. Luna. Yeah, you know, I would love to see this live. This has got so much live about it. Um, it's just, it's exciting. It's good. The guitar is just incredible. Your voice is incredible. And it's that kind of thing that, you know, once you're in that groove and it's live, I mean, you just have to dance, you have to sway, yeah. you have to do it. <clears throat> and I, I really, really appreciate that. That's, um, it, it's real and it's to the bone. I love it. Thank you so much. Well said, Luna. Tommy, the, the fellow Texas Swampian, uh, uh, yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm, I'm saying yes, ma'am. The young, the young lady from Manchester. <laughs> she's so she can she can talk better than anybody I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah, good. Yeah, awesome. Hey, hey, uh, yeah. Uh, back to your your tune. Of course, that I you nailed it. I mean, that, that's right there in my, in my ballpark as well. Uh, your vo your vocal. Come on, come on. You're going to town with that. And uh, picking, yep. Now, I'm going to sum it up by saying, uh, if we don't do some shows together, well, there's going to be trouble because we're neighbors. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm up for that. 
<laughs> nice one. That, that nice one. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to interject this is that I would oh. love to see a show together with you guys. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yes, please. I'd fly over from Manchester to see it. So me yeah. let me know. Yeah. Yeah. Make it happen, Great. lads. Make it happen. <laughs> um, Rooster, uh, what's your thoughts before you, your, your section next? Oh, I, I just like have a, a gene DNA to that kind of sound. I just love it so much. It just it just resonates with me. And um, I, too, would love to see you guys play together because you both have that great swampy feeling. You know, it just goes right through you and you just can feel the the, the music. And it just is a good feeling to. Uh, get absorbed by it. I love it so much. I feel like going into a river, just listening to the music, <laughs> like underwater even, like, ugh, it sounds so I good. I did that. You. There you go, Brad. Thanks for being a wonderful guest, dude. Thanks. We've only got two more sections. It does run late. It doesn't bother me. I'm sorry for anybody that's got other things planned. But, you know, how, how can we stop anybody talking? It's, a, it's an amazing forum, isn't it? Brad, thanks. Till the next time, brother. Um, Right, next guest, Miss Rooster. Um, how are you? How are you doing? And could you I'm tell good, us who you are, what type of um, music you do, etc.? Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. I can't believe I'm surrounded by all of you talented humans that play incredible songs and music, and everyone is totally inspiring. What do I do? I do a ton of different things, like so many things. I don't want to talk too much. I, I'm a musician. I have been playing for a while. I've been doing a lot of acting lately and my dream to the universe right now is to get one of my songs to be a theme song on a television show that goes into residuals. That is like my all time dream right now. And uh, I also wanna be like a musician in a dive bar on any type of show that uh, is on streaming or television like I want to be that character like a Phoebe but not Phoebe but like you know I want to be um, the show uh, Shameless had a bar called the Alibi and my dream was to be like the the musician in the Alibi like that's that kind of what I'm looking for so that's my dream right now I work on Broadway now not in a show but like getting to see a ton of shows and I just saw Hamilton like 20 times in a row and it's like I'm just getting all these different inspirations right now. So you're surrounded by beautiful people in your life. Oh, I have two daughters yeah. too. So trust me, I'm going on a trip with them tomorrow. We haven't taken my girls away ever. And we're going uh, to Charleston, South Carolina. I've never been. I'm taking my daughters for this long weekend with, of course, my little puppy who doesn't go anywhere without me. And uh, yeah, so I'm up for adventure right now. Life is short, you know, and my song right now is called A Lot of Mistakes. And if anybody makes them, I make a ton of them. And uh, it's kind of the anthem of my life. So here well you go. Well, you beat me to it. I was just going to say, what is the specific song behind a lot of mistakes? Well, the song is actually, it's, it, believe it or not, it's two very different stories that have been combined into one. Uh, it's very totally different. The chorus is one thing, the verses are another, and it just worked out. It just, I, everything I do kind of happens on its own. I'm just here to have it, like, figure it out. I don't even know how I do most of the things I do at all. Like this drawing behind me, I did that. Um, awesome. uh, during COVID, I drew a drawing a day from other people's uh, suggestions. So I had, I have a pandemic art collection with over 400 drawings. Every day someone suggested I drew something and I, I, I became an illustrator during that time. So like, that's another thing that's like, that's what I mean, it was by total accident, but I'm not gonna tell you now. If you wanna know, ask me another day. Pick up Real Star, all of you, she's a fantastic lady. And let's hear a lot of mistakes by Miss Real Star. One, two, three. Let's go ladies and gentlemen. that you do, oh yeah, all those mistakes that you do, I turned to him and said, I make a lot of mistakes, so please make you not be one of them, I get so strong when you disappear, then you reappear and I crumble again, yeah, it starts all over again. 
not at all. I was always too afraid to take a fall, oh yeah. Too afraid to take a fall. I took to him and said, I make a ton of mistakes, so please, please make you not be one of them. I get so strong when you disappear. Then you reappear and I crumble again, yeah. It starts all over again, yeah. Said, I'm leaving this part up to you. The way you fall down and you get back up the way that you do. What's in the pipeline? What's next for uh, Rooster? What are you looking forward to? What's happening soon? Oh, what's happening soon? For you, yeah. What's next? Oh, I don't know. What I said earlier is going to happen next. Exactly. My well, dream you're, you're get I feel it. I feel I, it. I feel it. I mean, I always have another gig and I always have like something happening. There's always like something going on. Um, most of the time, it just falls into whatever does but like my next thing is going to charleston tomorrow i mean i can't predict the future but i just know that there's always that next carrot dangling and that video i thank you so much for playing it but if you do watch it it does it it does play much smoother than that uh it was was yours glitchy it was see, like real glitchy right see what happens see when we're doing it live stream sometimes you might receive it that way but see the recording will be perfect and the recording will go in the article and stuff so awesome I, I, well they've all been fine so far but yeah because we're live some people might that's receive fine it. yeah i hosted some shows like this as well for a long time i had a uh, a web show for eight years called ruin who and a lot of people passed through my show craig greenberg actually was on my show um a lot it was rising stars and living legends and if it's all on youtube many 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 people came through and then we did a pandemic one on zoom during the pandemic for a little while so this is really cool because i'm not doing that now i'd rather be a guest on your fabulous show than uh it's a lot of work i i really hats off to you i know what goes into it trust me i i did it for a long time it's three days a week at the moment, and I'm seriously thinking about doing it on a daily basis, maybe even a couple of times a day, because you, nobody's got any idea the amount of musicians we're in contact with. And people like yourself, if you wanted to start your show up again, I would I would help you get it 
you know, like people on the show. So we're looking for podcast partners, radio partners around the world as well. So it's a shame you finished with your show. Uh, and if you ever start it again, just give well, us a Well, I, I had stopped it and then people kept begging me to bring it back. And I, I was like reluctant. And then during the pandemic, they begged me again. So it turned into, we called it the Renegade Ruin Who Show pandemic. Uh, and, you know, we did 75 episodes and that we ended it on Cher's 75th birthday. So it was like <laughs> perfect. perfect. Yeah, I know. I, I know. If it does happen again, I'll let you know. No worries, dear. We've yeah. got four, five people want to give you a compliment quickly. So Brad, then Chris and So. Brad, what's your thoughts there, brother? I like the song. I really like the video a lot. Hats hey. off to you. Great job on that. Well said, well said. Chris and So, Luna, yes. Tommy. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So um, we can really see that you're having fun with, in your video. And uh, because you do so many things, you have created a full character. And we wanted to ask you, if you had to describe yourself in two, three words, what would they be? Well, I definitely think I have a lot of chutzpah. I love glitter and I take a lot of risks. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for the creation. What I, I think you can throw adorable in there. You're, you're adorable as well, Rusta. Like, <laughs> Thank that you. One. Luna, Tommy Krieger, and then on your last guest, um, the wonderful Justice Peronka. Luna? Yeah. So I, I mean, that really, it was absolutely fantastic. And the whole theme of it about making mistakes, that's the best part of life. When you make mistakes, it's when you learn something, but also when you meet people that are put in your path and you thought you'd made a mistake and then you realize, had I not done that, I wouldn't have met these incredible people. So I think mistakes are really not necessarily mistakes. And I think that they lead us to other really cool things. So I really like what you did with that. Plus, I like your sensibilities. I like all the, you know, the the look, the color, the everything looks great to me. Thank so, you. yeah. So thank you. That was fabulous. Well said, Lena Dara. Well said, Tommy Krieger. Then Justice, Tommy Krieger. Yeah, like she like she just said, uh, the tune was uh, was was excellent wording and and, and production and, and fun bounce 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 fun. And you and your personality just makes me want to jump up and down, and yeah. and I can I can hear the the actress in you, and your positivity, and your Broadway. Of the, I mean, it's just now. Here's uh, here's the last thing. Brad and I from Louisiana. I think he might agree with me. We'll come up there and get on the stage with you, and we'll do this movie thing, and we'll back you up or whatever. All right, let's do it. Okay. Um, I'd love to see that. I'd love that. Justice Theronka, what's your thoughts tonight on, on Ruth Star and tonight, and then you're up next, young man. Justice? Yeah, um, I think, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, dude. Uh, uh, nice song. I love it. Oh, your and also, so I love the part um, where you say you will land by your mistake. Yeah, you know, it's nice song. You land by your mistakes. That's great. That's that's a catchy, yeah. a catchy thing, you know. I love that. That's a great well, song. Keep it up. Thank you. Well said, brother. Well said. And Ruth, thanks for being a marvelous guest. We'll get you on the show again in the next few weeks. So, um, I'll only make sure it's with a 10 different artists. Every day that comes back on the show, they won't be on with the same people. That's my wee game I'm playing with myself. So, Ruth Star, thanks for being a wonderful guest. Till the next time. Uh, on to the last section of the evening. Justice Theronka. Um, how are you, brother? Um, could you tell everyone, who is Justice Theronka? Uh, hello, everyone. I am Chayro Mustafa Theronka. Justice, my stage name. I am from Sierra Leone. I am a musician and also a filmmaker. 
I, I am a videographer and editor. That's what I do presently. Uh, first, I want to say I, um, I can't believe I am surrounded by uh, talented and incredible people. Uh, you know, this has been uh, my first uh, international platform. And I mean, to get my music across and meeting wonderful people like you, it's great. It's our yeah. pleasure, Justice. I, I would like to ask you about your song. Is it New Salonman or New Solomon? How do you say? New, Tell us about New that song. Salon Man. All right, New Salon Man. I wrote that song back in 2017, New Salon Man. I got the inspiration from my community. Of course, the song is um, talking uh, about corruption, change, uh, positivity, you know. So basically the catch is when you say you are a new Salomon, meaning you are not corrupt. I mean, you think positive and want to help society grow. So that's what um, the song is about, new Salomon. Nice one. Let everyone get acquainted with you. And, you know, having the last section, you always get the most comments because it's the end of the night. So, you know, it might be bad in one way being last, but dude, one love. New Salonman by Justice Theronka. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Fambul, of course, again, the studios with me, the brand new track is one of the artists do for me when I achieve justice. A college music. The music in the background when a new Salomon. I'll come over to studio two and ask him what you mean by this music when you say new Salomon. Well, a new Salomon, I simply mean say, boss, where they left to do the negative things and transform to the positive thing in a new Salomon. If it is positive, we treat by that corruption in our old Salomon. So once you left that thing and then try to do the positive things, you don't become a new Salomon. Okay. Lock Bill up Salon, we a Salon to the higher level. Man and me for do the positive things, and that he consider you for being new Salomon. Uh -huh. I'm a born again, I'm a born again, I'm a born again. Yeah, Chief Justice, check me out. Me a new Salomon. Me a new Salomon. Me a new Salomon. Chief Justice, new Salomon. BNG, etc. Nigga, I'm not like bad. Me a new Salomon. Congo, sir, I'm not mixed. Me a new Salomon. First life, mm -mm. me a new Salomon. Hey, Chief Justice, new Salomon. But you don't left bamboo. Me a new Salomon. You don't left corruption. Me a new Salomon. You don't left juju. Me a new Salomon. Hmm, see, see, me a new Salomon. Okay, what's in a? Me a new Salomon. You want a Salomon, bro? Me a new Salomon. Check me out, me na new Salomon. I got me on style, me na new Salomon. Okay, me na new Salomon. Hey, me na new Salomon. Uh huh. Me na new Salomon. Yeah, let go. Me na new Salomon. Now the same one say Salomon gets bad and he quick for clap and he quick for forget. No, I'm a change man. I'm a new man. I'm a born again. Me na new Salomon. If he still like us, you na old Salomon. If he gets bad at, you na old Salomon. Adi boy, you too idle, you na old Salomon. Hey, Chief Justice, new Salomon. I not like Kungusa, me na new Salomon. I not like Bamboo, me na new Salomon. If he still lazy, you na old Salomon. Why they watch me so? Me na new Salomon. If he like first life, you na old Salomon. If he like Plaba, you na old Salomon. I not like Fet Fet, me na new Salomon. If he trust you no pay, you na old Salomon. Nigga, I not like bad at, me na new Salomon. Kungusa, I not mix, me na new Salomon. First life, mm mm, me na new. Salomon. Hey, Chief Justice, new Salomon. But you don't left bamboo. In a new Salomon. You don't left corruption. In a new Salomon. You don't left juju. In a new Salomon. Hmm. Thief, thief. In a new Salomon. Okay. Me a new Salomon. Me a new Salomon. Me a new Salomon. Me a new Salomon. Oh, if you did bad as thief. In a old Salomon. I'm not calling him up. Me a new Salomon. Minister, wake up. In a old Salomon. If you did keep two man. In a old Salomon. If you read them fast. In a new Salomon. Are you too quick, sobo? In a old Salomon. If you know the top, the truth. In a old Salomon. Mm. I'm not like for the lie. In a new Salomon. And I'm not like fit ya. In a new Salomon. Why they copy me style? In a old Salomon. Still still you the witch. In a old Salomon. Hey boy, you know the change. In a old Salomon. Nigga, I'm not like bad at. In a new Salomon. Congo sir, I'm not mix. In a new Salomon. First life. Mm -mm. In a new Salomon. Hey, Chief Justice, new Salomon. But you don't left bamboo. In a new Salomon. You don't left corruption. In a new Salomon. You don't left juju. In a new Salomon. Hmm. Thief, thief. In a new Salomon. Okay. In a new Salomon. In a new Salomon. In a new Salomon. Me na new Salomon. Some are like for snitch. Some are no one progress. Why you too mealy? Why you not they do good? I don't work for you. Why you no one pay me? You just block. Why you not they pray? 
If he plays salon music, in a new Salomon. If he they collect bribe, in a old Salomon. The guy feed beats he web, in a old Salomon. I eat with jealous soon, in a old Salomon. If he not dance salon music, in a old Salomon. But it's too like explain, in a old Salomon. I eat too wicked soon, in a old Salomon. But pepper me, in a old Salomon. Nigga, I'm not like bad at, in a new Salomon. Congo sa, I don't mix, in a new Salomon. First life, mm mm, in a new Salomon. Hey, cheat justice, new Salomon. But you don't left bamboo, in a new Salomon. You don't left corruption, in a new Salomon. You don't left juju, in a new Salomon. Hmm. See, see, in a new Salomon. Okay, in a new Salomon. In a new Salomon. I be a tire surf. In a new Salomon. In a new Salomon. Just come with me. He said, Hey, Chief Justice. You know, no say the industry black. I said, Paddy, what do you mean? He said, Hmm. Corruption and bad ass. Ha! <laughs> I said, I said, Paddy, in a new Salomon. Yeah, I'm out. Well done, well done, absolutely fantastic. My camera's went a bit wonky, so I'm going to need to switch to my... Oh, what do you see this for a camera, Troops? Oh, oh. my camera's packed in, so I've got this uh, amazing... Vo anyway, that was amazing, Justice Theronka. Uh, love it, brother, love it. Um, for anyone liking to say that, you know, a compliment to Justice and the final thing, just unmute yourselves. So I'll start on the top row here. Tommy, what's your thoughts there, Mr. Krieger? Wonderful, wonderful tune from your part of the world. Good songwriting. And uh, uh, once again, I was jumping around on my little old chair here. And uh, and not only did it show me uh, you as an artist, it showed me uh, your part of the world as well. Thank you for that. Well said, well said. Luna, then Chris and so. Yeah, so... Um... That's a really powerful message. I mean, a new Solomon, that's powerful because you're talking about, once again, my favorite subject, which is bringing hope to anyone who feels like they're stuck. There is something more, there's something better that is coming and you can make that happen. And I love that theme. So I'm so happy that you, you've done that. Also, the images, uh, was that filmed in Sierra Leone? Yeah, that, that was filmed in Sierra Leone. Yeah, so it's funny because I've been to Kingston, Jamaica so many times, and it looks so much like that. Um, I mean, I put myself back in that situation because I think I could hear you singing that in any of these places where maybe people need a bit more hope. They need to know, hey, you can be this, this new thing. You can, you can take this, this better path. And I, I really like that so much. I think it's really, it's needed everywhere, but um, you know, you're saying it, so thank you. You're welcome, thank you too. Lou Solomon, yes. Chris and so, Zach, Acacia, and Kirsty, and that's the, yes, the night over. Um, Chris and So. Hello, um, wanted to say that we really feel the cultural influences and the message is really positive and really clear. And if we heard this song at a party or somewhere, we, everybody would dance. Mm -hmm. It really gives us hope and positivity. Yeah. So, thanks. Well, very, very good. We like it. Place, yeah. Rue, Rue, would you like to say as well? Yeah, I, not only is the message all good, but the, the sound and the music is so good. It's like, it just, it just makes you move and it's just a great song all around. Like, it's just, I, I could put that on a loop and listen to it for, for a long time. It was really good. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Zach, Acacia, Kirsty, then... It's been another great show, Zach. Yes, that that was a good, that was a very good production. I like the way you put the video together and uh, the the statement they're making, and um, it's very positive, very nice effort. Lots of, I, I know it took a lot to do it. It was very good. I was impressed. Well said, well said, Acacia. Um, 
my right hand lady in Australia and Kirsty and that's us for the evening. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed the message. It was very, very powerful and having one into dance. You say this is your first time on an international platform. Well, the world's exactly. gonna love you. Absolutely love you. 100 percent Well said, Akeja. Well you. said. Thank you. Kirsty, Kirsty, hi Kirsty. Hi. Hey, uh, what a fantastic track to end the show. Um, it got me dancing. I love it. I love the vibe. And uh, yeah, like like Lynn said, the world is ready to hear you, Justice. So um, we're glad you're, you're here with us um, showing it. We're, we're delighted to have you. Thank you. Thanks, thanks to everybody for coming tonight, the guests and the participants. Um, every one of you is an amazing. Until the next time, I hope to and see you again. And a shout out to Elise, the translator. Yeah, it's of course, well. Elise. what a wonderful translator. Thank you very much. And thank if, you, Elise. If anyone, know, if anyone knows how to do the peace sign, give me the peace sign, and I'll I'll shut the show after three. One, two, three. Peace.